Okay. I wanted to make this video so I could show you. So I could show you who, who you really are. Okay. So you have your God source. This is your spirit, right? It's your God source like unlimited that's why i put it in a little spiral because it's unlimited i just put a box around it just to show you um symbolism or whatever um okay so this is your god self right this is who you really are and who you really are is love fulfillment you are let's see what else are you you're but pretty much everything you you want to be is is your god self okay you are happy you are free you're limitless like you're just infinity you're god and when you come to this experience okay your god self comes to this human experience to experience itself as god <laughs> so so you come into this experience okay here's you this is your, this is you this is your meat sack okay this is your skin you got your eyes you got your nose you got your mouth you got your ears you got your fingers and your feet okay so this is you this is your ego right so you get a meat sack because you are experiencing the human experience, right? The meat sack is so that you can hear things, you can see things, smell things, taste things, feel things. You know, you're just having a human experience and it's just to experience with your five senses as a human being, right? Okay, now let's strip away the ego okay if you're not the ego who are you you're all of this your fulfillment you are who you say you are you are okay, okay let's do another thing okay so without this without the ego without okay here's the 3d too okay here's your 3d i'm gonna put it as a mirror right it's a mirror so you have your 3d without the only reason you're believing that okay let's say you want to be rich or whatever right so you're rich because the god self is rich because you are fulfillment you are that already you're already that but because you have the ego self the ego is going to only believe what this shit shows it and then you're going to just keep believing that this is what is true, right? So, if we take away the 3D and we take away the meat sack, what's left? The God self, right? And so what is the God self? The God self, this is who you really are. It's like, um... It's like you're putting on a coat. Like, you're. this is your meat coat. You're putting on a fucking meat coat. But underneath it, this is who you really are. Your fulfillment. And you can't ever change this. This is just who you fucking are no matter what. So this is why, like, thoughts and feelings don't really matter. Because they're a part of the ego. They're part of the 3D self. The 3D and the ego are one together. Like, they're just... You know, this is just for you to experience the human, uh, the human, uh, experience, right? So, if, if you're living in your world and you want to be rich, guess what? You already are. Because that's who you really are. You are rich. <laughs> you're already that. But, you have your little self or whatever. And then you have the 3D. And then in the 3D, you see zero, ah, zero dollars. So then you are looking 
at zero dollars right and then you are believing it you're like oh shit i'm actually broke oh he's sad because he's broke he's not happy <laughs> you're like ah oh, fuck i'm broke but remember what i told you the god self you're already rich bro but you're believing this shit you're believing this because it feels real because you're identifying with your senses like here's your hand right and you're identifying with well i'm not feeling the money in my hand i'm not i'm not able to touch the money i can't buy what i want to buy so that must mean i'm broke that must mean i don't have any money no this version of you your god self let's give it a different here let's give your god self a little happy face your god self is always happy and your god self has the money always because it's fulfillment it's love it's everything that you want everything that you need but because you're perceiving so this is what i'm saying like you can't let this you can't let the 3d tell you who you are no no you can't let the 3d tell you who you are because you already are rich if you say you're rich you're rich and the more you know who you are and this is what i'm talking about you don't have to fucking affirm you just have to know who you are you are god you are source you are all of it so it doesn't matter if you see this in the 3d and this is what i'm talking about um you can still have thoughts like like um you know there's no money in my account but as long as you know who you are i'm rich so i don't have to worry about this like i'm rich i'm god i don't have to worry about this you know what i mean you don't identify with the thoughts okay so i'm having thoughts like um i don't have enough um broke this sucks <laughs> The thoughts can be there and shit, you guys. It's more of like not identifying with this version of yourself. Like, you can just say, grab these. Even if these are coming up, whatever. Just don't acknowledge them. Just be like, you know what? I know who I am. Actually, I am rich. Like, the version of me, this version of me has what I want. And like... I'm trying to explain this. Uh, hi, kitty. Have you noticed how cats always do this? Like when you're trying to do something? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Um, so if you're in a situation where uh, you... Okay, so you're broke, right? You don't have any money in the 3D. You don't have any money. And you have to live this experience in the 3D, right? So you don't have any money. And then you're believing that you don't have money right so then you get feelings right you start getting anxiety you get anxious and worried okay well that's supposed to be worried but it looks excited but they're pretty much the same thing anyway so it doesn't matter but um so you're worried and you start getting anxiety like holy fuck i don't know how i'm gonna afford this then that's when i tell you okay that's your signal that like your body self and your god self aren't in alignment with each other you're believing the 3d you're putting your faith in your ego and not yourself okay your your true self you're putting your faith and belief in this ego self and not who you really are who you really are is fulfillment right so like if you're putting faith in yourself you know that like it's done and that you'll have them all the money that you need for what you want and the more you practice you know or learn learn that this is who you really are then it'll be easier in those moments where you know and it's okay to have these feelings right it's okay to have them it's just this is like the signal this is like telling you hey hey, you're, you're going in the wrong direction here. Like, 
you're believing this you're believing it okay you can have thoughts and, and not connect with them right but when you start believing it then it's like that's when you start getting the anxiety the stress the struggle so um you're identifying with this belief and not this one of who you really are when you know who you really are nothing really can bother you because you're love and you're fearing stuff you're fearing that you're not going to have enough so you're putting your faith where it doesn't belong which is the ego right and so like i said you can have these feelings that's okay it's just what you choose to do in those moments this is why i kind of like dylan james too is because like he says to um regulate your nervous system because when you're in a super emotional state you kind of think irrationally you kind of say things and do things that aren't really like you know who you like you're not really in a clarity type of mind right so if you can calm this down that's chill but if you can't it's whatever you can just say i think you should calm it down as soon as you feel it though because it just it feels better it feels better and you can shoot yourself in a new direction instead of believing something like this but if you can't it's fine you just can put your little handy on your heart wherever your little heart is put your hand on your heart and say i am this version now it's okay i'm not i am not this version I am not my thoughts. I am not my feelings. I am, I am actually God. I am love fulfillment. All of this. I don't need to worry about this. I know this feels stressful in this moment right now, but I don't need to worry about this because I know who I am. I am God. That is who I really am. I know that I am rich because that is who I really am. I know that I am complete and this is just a human emotion that I'm feeling. It's fine that I'm feeling this. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to get what I want. It doesn't mean anything unless I give it meaning. Remember because you're connecting the reason that you're feeling this way in the first place is because you're believing these thoughts that are coming up. You're believing it. You're believing it. So, you know, if you believe that these emotions are gonna stop you from getting what you want then that's what's gonna fucking happen because you're steering the boat where you want to go it to go with your awareness right your awareness you can see the thoughts and not identify with them so if you're aware that you know what no these feelings aren't going to create anything i'm allowed to have them it's okay guess what it's gonna be okay you know what i'm saying it's your awareness it's the God that's behind the eyes. So technically the God's up here, whatever. You know, it's the, here's the third eye. It's the God that's looking out of the third eye. The awareness on what you're saying and what you're believing to be true is what's making things true for you. So if you're saying, I'm not seeing any movement, you're not going to see fucking movement. Like you will not see it because you're not perceiving that there's any there when you start saying i see movement everywhere because i know who i am i don't need to see movement because you don't because you already know who you are this is who you really are if you know who you really are and how powerful you are you don't need to see anything out here because then you're looking for validation that you're actually this fucking person you don't need validation you're already this fucking person you already are it <laughs> So when I tell people like to persist in it, it's because I want you to believe and know who you really are. And that's the only belief you really fucking need to know is who you really are. You know, um, the minute you start saying or believing or putting your awareness on movement, the more you're going to fucking see it. But you don't allow yourself to stay there long enough to see anything because you're instantly putting your awareness back on this isn't working i'm believing that this isn't working i'm believing that because i don't see something it's not working you're assuming that you're putting your awareness on it's not working because i don't see movement who said that movement equals it working no one 
You did that. You're putting your awareness on that. Who said affirmations work? Nobody. You did. You're putting your awareness on that. You don't have to do any of that because you're God. <laughs> you already are a powerful manifester who literally could snap their fingers and get whatever the fuck they want if they wanted to. But you just don't see that you already are that. You're looking on validation from the 3D and and your thoughts and feelings and feelings. See, that's also looking outside of yourself, looking at your ego sack to feel a different way. And you don't need to because you're already it. That's it. That's literally it. And uh, oh, there was something else I was going to say about Bashar. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, you are it, you guys. You're it. That's it. And then you just have your awareness as God. Notice how I said as God. You are God. So you're even powerful creating bad things you want. You really are. If you're saying you're seeing no movement, you're still powerful. You're still doing it. It's still fulfillment. You're fulfilling the desire of not seeing movement. You're still it. You're everything that you want to be right now. If you think you're a powerful manifester, guess what? You are it right now. If you think you manifest fast, guess what? You are it now. But you can convince yourself and believe that you're not because you're looking out here. <laughs>